Chef John, get a gourmet. We're going to be doing that barbecue thing today in honor of my parents doing their, this is their 30th year of holding this barbecue party or something like that. That doesn't seem right. Oh yeah, it does. I was back there when it first started. So yeah, and I'm 45. So that works out. Yeah. Okay. And they make salmon all the time. Um, so one thing I'm going to do is um, we're going to reset our grill. I put the, I like the ash can down here because I want to keep my vents open and keep them clean. And um, this is an extra lid that was left on the side. And I'm sure a lot of people have this problem with like getting their getting their grill uh, rusty. And uh, so what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to fix it. And um, so we will have more than one lid or everybody will have more than one lid. Um, but I'm going to do that with steel wool and I'm going to re-season it and heat it up at the same time. And then I'm going to cool it down and then it'll work really well. So um, I just wanted to give you that little bit of advice. And uh, yeah, you heard the flat tire. That was a uh, my foot slipping in the sidewalk, yeah. So we'll get to that a little later. I don't know if my friend's barbecuing today, so uh, I'm just going to put it right on there because I got lighter fluid. lighter fluid. I can tell you a story about that. It was when I tricked a whole bunch of cops who had run up in my house that the water bottle I had was lighter, was water and not lighter fluid. And they let me get my hands on it. But you can trick people into all sorts of things. Like bean juice and acetic acid gives off the worst smell in the world. <laughs> It'll make you think all sorts of things. All right. I'm going to continue on with my little fun over here. We'll come back to that. Peace.